I'm a teacher. Yeah. Two. I'm a student. I'm a teacher. I'm a student. Teacher. Student. Teacher. Teacher! Student. Pie. Happy Halloween! Welcome back to another episode of Mav Nation. I'm Kennedy Carr. And I'm Frankie Reyes. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Mav Nation. Nation. Today's the first day of Survivor Week. Make sure to come to the Student Center at lunch to watch students go head-to-head -head in the first competition. Also, don't forget that today is the last day to turn in your CSF papers at room 303 or 740. Also, don't forget, today's early out, so students will be getting out at 1.22 p.m. What are your plans after high school? Do you know what you want to pursue in college? Well, the counseling office is here to help. Every student has a Naviance account and can log in at any time. If you need assistance, please go down to the counseling office on Mondays or Wednesdays during lunch. Any grade level is welcomed. Now here's reporter Frankie Reyes talking to students from Mav on the Street. I would probably bring like some seeds of some sort if the island was fertile because then I could plant uh, trees for food. Um, I'd bring a spear so that could be like uh, the kids in the Lord of the Flies and I'd kill a pig and then put its head on a spear. I would take a fishing pole so I could eat. Uh, I'd probably bring my phone and a charger because I use it all the time. I would take my soccer ball because it keeps me busy and entertains me. <laughs> what happens when it deflates? Then that would be a bummer and I'll make a new one. <laughs> Whatever I go if it's if we go to jungle or somewhere, I don't know. I would bring a hat, um, cause it protects my eyes. And that's it. <laughs> I'd bring peanut butter because it's like good for moisturizing and fun to play with. I would bring a crate because uh, every time in movies they always bring crates with them and it works out great. You know, like Wilson. Wilson gave him a crate. If I didn't bring a crate, I couldn't have Wilson. Uh, I'd go with ranch so I could add some flavor to my meals. Um, I would bring a dog because it would keep me company. <laughs> we could play. If I was stranded on an island, I would bring a boat so that I could get out. Just a reminder that this Tuesday, November 1st, the first quarter ends and winter sports online clearances are due. Also on Tuesday is Start Smart in the theater at 6.30 to 8.15 p.m. Any juniors and seniors that want to park in the parking lot need to attend this class first. For more information, go under Key Info on the LCC page website. Interested in joining the girls basketball team? Visit room 1307 on Tuesday for more information on tryouts. This Wednesday we have a couple meetings coming up. There will be a boys soccer info meeting from 3 to 3.45 p.m. in the Learning Commons. The ACE club meets from 3 to 5 p.m. in room 905. Anyone who's interested in learning about architecture, construction management, or engineering is encouraged to attend. Like to surf? Join the surf club. Free surf and competition practice every Wednesday at Pipes and Cardiff. More info at lccsurf.org. Interested in politics and upcoming Election Patriots Club meets every Wednesday at lunch in room 340. The club is raising money for the Wounded Warriors Foundation. The Fall Play the Crucible starts Wednesday, November 9th. Here's Josh Soria with more information. The Crucible is historical fiction that students here at LCC will read in their junior year. It is based on the Salem Witch Trials. Mr. Golden is the drama and English teacher as well as the theater director for two years here at LCC. 
Things that Mr. Golden loves about his plays in general is him being able to work with artists such as costume as well as set designers for his plays. Creating a play is fascinating because it's a massive collaboration. Uh, there are students who were doing construction to students doing costumes and music and acting. Mr. Golden would encourage everyone to watch the play because the Crucible team has worked tremendously hard. Our actors and everybody's worked really hard to put this work up and, uh, and we're very excited to show it to the crowd. And Dylan, a senior, plays John Proctor who is a very complex character. John is a very strong man. Um, he tries to do what's he, he he tries to do what's best for everyone around him. Alondra and Allison are both sophomores here at LCCs and are actors in the Crucible. So I'm playing Abigail Williams, and she brings a lot of energy whenever she's on stage. She likes the attention. Alondra and Allison's characters are very opposite from each other. Allison's character would often be afraid and cower, while Alondra's character is very dominative and assertive. I'm playing Mary Warren. She's sort of... I don't know how to describe her. She's very wimpy. Haley, who's a sophomore, is head of costume design. She's enjoyed working with costume for different time periods, favorably the 50s. I love to look at how costumes and clothes in general have changed and what we still use and what has gotten taken away over time. Now here's a trailer for The Crucible from theater. Comedy Sports Annual Teachers vs. Students game is Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Come see your favorite teachers and the funniest students on campus go head-to-head. There is a girls' rugby club meeting this Thursday in room 451. This Friday, the annual beach bowl game with varsity football versus Torrey Pines is on Friday at 7 p.m. Just a reminder that Friday, November 11th, there is no school. Make sure to check Naviance or stop by the counseling office to check for upcoming college visits. Today, journalism will be distributing our first issue of the newspaper. That's it for the news. I'm Frankie Reyes. And I'm Kennedy Carr. Hi, I'm Margo from ASB, and I wanted to tell you guys about Operation Maverick Child. It's where we take to like necessities of kids from around the world, and we ship them off to orphans for the holidays. Um, please bring in small items such as clothing, school supplies, toys, toothbrushes, things like that to the ASB room. Um, we need all the help we can get, so thanks. Hey guys, I'm Mason. I'm Julia, we're from ASB. Seniors, remember Survivor starts today until Friday, October 4th. Everyone be sure to stay on campus during lunch to watch the seniors compete. The top guy and girl will be competing against Tory Pines this Friday. And because it's a Tory Pines game, the theme is going to be white out. So make sure to get there early because there's going to be a tailgate at 5.30. And here's Grady with more details. Good morning, Vietnam. I am Grady Beck, Mr. ASB here with some great announcements. We're going to start it off with a 5.30 tailgate, baby. We're going to have music, we're going to have food, we're going to have fun activities. 
5.30, Meadow, be there. Because guess what's coming up next? The walkout. What? What was that? The walkout, 6.20. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We're going to be there. You get priority seating. So if you want to be in the front, better be there to support your Mavs. I'll see you guys Friday. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our fourth edition of the Mav Life Sports Report. Once again, I'm Calvin Zeljak. And I'm Colby Robbins. Today's show is going to feature interviews with Trevor Ferguson and with Colby himself, as well as the Mav Life Sports Whip Round. Colby, take it away. Earlier this week, I sat down with female wrestlers Rat Maddie Kanoka and Cora Johnson, talking about their experience with the sport. Let's take a look at that. As two girls in the Mavericks wrestling team, Maddie Knopka and Cora Johnson have learned to expect the unexpected. <laughs> Sometimes, a lot of times they'll be like, isn't it weird, like, yeah, being in positions, with positions with guys, or, like, being on top, like, is that yeah. weird? But it's really <laughs> not. <laughs> Even though they are rookies on the wrestling team, they both have had various years of experience. I've done jujitsu for a few years now, and then wrestling last year. That's the same. They have also found the sport to be very inclusive and a good way to make friends while also growing their wrestling skills. Um, at first, because I just moved here from Maui, and so at first I didn't know anybody except for Maddie. <laughs> and then, like, after a few weeks got in, I started meeting everybody, and they kind of treated me like I was really on the team. And, yeah. Yeah, when I first started, like, since I started in eighth grade, I knew other people before I knew them. And then I would, like, sometimes go into the open rooms and, like, I'd be kind of distant because, you know, they're all, like, a family and I'm kind of coming in there as, like, the newbie. Um, and, yeah, so, like, when I first started, I kind of didn't talk to them much and I, like, sectioned myself off from them. But then this year, like, I've definitely gotten to know them and now like we all hang out now back to you guys with the Mav Life Sports Whip Around. Let's get right into our Mav Life Sports Whip Around. Last week girls volleyball competed against CCA in their dig pink game. They won three sets to two. Check at Mav Life Sports on Twitter for more scores. Boys water polo picked up a 14 to 4 win against El Capitan on October 24th. They're playing Tory Pines tomorrow so check at Mav Life Sports on Twitter for the final. Recently, girls tennis shut out the Carlsbad Lancers 18-0, leaving only the CIF and the league tournament to go. Cross country ran at Mount Sac, and it was girls picking up first place and boys finishing third in the Division Three section. Check at Mavlet Sports on Twitter for updates on cross country as they have both league and CIF coming up. Girls field hockey has played quite a number of games as of late, including a rivalry against Torrey Pines and another game against Sage Creek. Check at my Life Sports on Twitter for more scores. Football, they defeated San Marcos 38-21, and they have their game against Torrey Pines coming up this week. So make sure you check at my Life Sports on Twitter if you're not able to make it out for the game on Friday. And that's going to do it for now. For Calvin Zeljak and Colby Roberts, this is Mad Life Sports. Hello, so welcome to Mav Life Style. My name is Elora Dannon and happy Halloween. Today on Mav Life Style, we will be scaring some of your favorite Mavericks with their biggest fears. So sit back and relax and enjoy Mav Life Style, the show made for the Mavs by the Mavs on what makes LCC LCC. <laughs> I hate this show. <laughs> I'm Sasha and I'm a ninth grader. Um, I'm Kylie Broom and I'm a freshman. I'm Alex Remler, I'm a ninth grade. I'm Betty Ingle and I'm in 10th grade. I am MJ, I'm in 12th grade. I'm Maya, I'm a sophomore. Uh, I'm Michael, in 12th grade. I'm Lissa, I'm in 12th grade. Uh, during Halloween, I like hanging out with friends usually and uh, trick or treating, but not this year. Screw that, just clowns, I, I ain't doing that. What are some of your biggest fears? Clowns. Spiders. Clowns. Clowns are pretty scary, especially this time of year when all the clowns are coming out. Like a clown? Yeah, clowns. Really? Why? Because it's scary. gonna hurt me. I'm dipping on you guys. Okay, no, if this. I see a clown, I'm just going straight home. I'm not even gonna deal with this. Um, I had a dream that a clown killed me, so. I mean, clowns are pretty scary. 
Clowns are scary. Like, if they do have a weapon, then that's kind of concerning. Because... Oh, no! No! <laughs> oh, definitely not a clown. I think... Oh, my God! Clowns <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> are just scary. There's like, just honestly, been, like, like, in general. Like, everyone knows what's been happening. The clowns. Oh, just, my God! Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, my... I don't know what I would do. Uh, I'd run. Keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh. I didn't even see, and then she just like said, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that was so scary! <laughs>